how to create a animated nft art hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own animated nft so having said that let's just jump into the video currently i'm on photoshop right so let me just go ahead and begin and create a new canvas i mean you don't technically have to use photoshop you can use any other software that you like but the process very simple you can use any other online photo editor as well as long as it supports those kinds of functionalities then you should be good so currently it's very simple so i'm just simply going to go ahead and switch it over to pixels and i'm going to import my file and i want to see how large it is so this is the image that i want so it's 530 by 471 so let's go ahead and put that in 530 by 471 boom there we go that's how it going with the portrait actually we'll go with this one and just simply click on create and boom we have our canvas right here now we just drag and drop our image that we want there we go that's it so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and duplicate the layer so we're just simply going to go ahead and right click and duplicate the layer all right actually creates a new one so we're gonna go in layer so we're gonna duplicate it but actually you know what i found a better way so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be changing the different backgrounds right that's all we're, we're gonna do because we're not gonna get all fancy and stuff so for that what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna go ahead and create a new layer like two more layers and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the layer right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna color it pretty simple right so let me get the bucket tool real quick or we could use the brush and yeah, I think that looks fine as well. Now, don't worry, guys. Uh, I'll show you how it looks like in a minute. I'm not, you know, painting over it. It's just the background I'm painting over. So don't worry. I've selected the right layer. So it's going to look like this. So now let me just go ahead and move this layer up. See, that's how it looks like. The background is different because that's what it is. So let me just put it at the top so that you guys don't freak out. I'm going to select the other layer and for this one i'm just going to go ahead and paint it red and i'm just simply going to choose like a pencil tool and just increase the size of my pixels there we go and now i'm just going to go ahead and make it red see really nice really cool now i'm going to add in another layer and i'm going to add it like a blue color there we can go that looks nice you can even add a bunch of gradient colors as well like over here you can add like a gradient tool with the gradient color it all depends on you so basically that's what we're going to be doing it's very simple you can do other effects you can like add in a bunch of different filters as well so it all depends on you but for now i think this looks good because it's much more easier it doesn't get too complicated so that you guys can understand so now that that's done what we're going to do is we're going to go over here into windows and we're going to open up this uh panel right here called timeline now what this will allow us to do is it's going to let us create a video timeline all right so over here we have the video timeline it's now compact let me just open that up real quick you know make it a little bit bigger so that you guys can understand all right actually let me just close it and let me just reopen it because we don't want the video timeline there we go now that we have that that is going to be our first frame right it's going to be for five seconds or maybe let's say 0 0.2 seconds and now what we're going to do next is we're going to select a different background we don't want blue we want red next right and i'm going to add like a new frame click on add new frame and then in the new frame i want the blue one and i'm going to add a new frame and in the new frame i want the purple one here we go and boom there we go now it's going to go back to red go ahead and click on new frame and in it we're going to go with red and then we're going to go with a new frame and we're going to go with blue there we go and then a new frame we're going to go with purple back again so that's how it basically looks so if i play it this is how it looks like see changing it's really nice it's really cool it's really really easy it's now animated how do we you know export this so it's very simple so let's go ahead and export it so i'm gonna go ahead and click on file and over here at the bottom we're gonna go into export and we have the save for web legacy mode option over here we're gonna click on it it's gonna open up this one and it's gonna ask us the preset over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change it to let's say a gif as well but before we do that let me just go ahead and uh actually i should have done this earlier but what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna go ahead and click on images and we're gonna change the image size and we're gonna want it to increase to let's say 1000 pixels we just go back and see how it looks like it's gonna sharpen it very very well we're gonna click on okay there we go now all our pixels are sharpened as well so now let's go ahead and click on file and export it save for 
legacy and over here what we want to do is we want to change it to gift all right and we want to go over here we're going to choose it like gift this is going to be the preset don't add the preset as well just leave it whatever it is then just change it to gif and over here you just go with the uh, selective diffusion no other anything like that right just do whatever you want it all depends on you after that just simply you know click on save and it's going to ask you where you want to save it so i'm just simply going to go ahead and save it in my this pc i'm going to go into pictures go into save ones and i'm going to go ahead and click on save over there let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks like over here uh here we go if i play it that's how it looks like see really nice really cool so that's how you basically create a animated nft now let's go ahead and upload it onto OpenSea. So I'm just simply going to write OpenSea over here. And I'm just simply going to go ahead and connect my MetaMask wallet to OpenSea and just, you know, connect it over here and log into it and click on unlock. And here we go. Now that it's unlocked, now all that's left for us to do is just simply click on create. Wait for a couple of seconds. It's going to send a transaction to our MetaMask wallet. And we're just simply going to go ahead and sign the transaction and move forward. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to upload our NFT that we just, you know, exported over here. Let me just go ahead and find it real quick. Here it is. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to call it Colorful Darth. I think that sounds good. Darth over here. Add in the external link if you want to. If you have one, don't want to, you can leave that blank. Then you have your description over here. You can add in the description of your NFT if you want to. Then you have your properties. You have your levels and stats. And you can add that if you want to. Then you have your supply at the bottom. I'm going to change it to Polygon because I don't want to pay any gas fees. And Polygon is free. And then just simply click on Create. And just a couple of steps left to do. Just simply re clear this recapture over here. So it's a bridge. Hopefully I can get it in one. I couldn't. Okay, let me just go ahead and clear the recapture. Okay, it's done. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and mint the NFT so that you guys can know how it looks like, right? There you go. So now our NFT has been created and now we just have to click on sell and just input our amount and boom, there we go. That's it. So after that, just enter in your amount and just simply click on complete listing and your NFT will have been listed so having said that that is it for this video guys and if you liked this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on your notification bell because if you do that not only will you be helping us out but you'll also be getting daily alerts of whenever we upload our videos we upload daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content so just make sure to hit the bell icon and uh, you'll be notified and you'll be able to consume your daily dose of tech videos and other gadgets and other tools that can help you run or scale your business. So having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.